will propose an initiative to prohibit transgender people from using certain public bathrooms or locker rooms in Montana will not be on the November ballot. Supporters of the initiative 183 said Monday they fell well short of the necessary number of voter signatures to place the measure before voters this fall. I-183, if passed, would have required public restrooms and locker rooms to be used by people of only one sex. It also defines sex or gender as a person's biological sex at the time of birth. Jeff Lozoffi of the Montana Family Foundation says the pro I-183 effort was harmed by a state Supreme Court ruling last fall that forced supporters to abandon thousands of signatures they had gathered and start over. But he also said he believes transgender locker room access will be more clearly defined by the U.S. Supreme Court within the next year or so. Opponents, including the American Civil Liberties Unit, Union, said the measure sought to punish Montana's transgender community by denying them access to public facilities. I-183 needed more than 25,000 signatures to qualify and had only about 9,000 verified signatures.